Ooh. Hi everyone, this is gonna be a Q&A video combined with unboxing things. I hope you want to stick around for the entire video because I hope you will. So we are gonna start off with a question. What is the rarest and most collectible game you own? I have a feeling that the Harvest Moon's Nest game, which I got from a really good subscriber back in the day, is actually really rare. So maybe that. I mean, I don't think it's really collectible. Things are gonna fall down here now. I'm really proud that I got this because when I've talked with people, I don't know, on my Discord or whatever, they have told me that this is kind of rare because it had Ocarina of Time and Ocarina of Time Master Quest along with Wind Waker. I thought that was normal, but apparently it wasn't. Also, in my collection, I'm not a collector, but I have pretty much all the limited editions of the Hyper, Hyper Dimension Neptunia series. That is also really fun. I mean, look at this. I have the original box of Pokemon Pikachu and I also have the original box of the Game Boy Player. I'm sure I have some things that are rare. Okay, so this is something that I agreed to receive in an email. It is from a company, so this is like a review copy of one of their things. And I thought it looked cool and it definitely does look cool. <laughs> Link to this is down below and thank you so much to the company for sending me this. So here we have a Super Mario mug which is perfect for my tea or maybe my decaf coffee. <laughs> I just loved it. It looked so cute. What is the one console slash handheld you never got to play? I don't know if everyone knows this about me, but handheld gaming has been my thing, more so than console gaming. So in this way, I feel very lucky to have experienced, I feel, the entire handheld universe, if you know what I mean. I feel so because I have the PlayStation Vita, which is maybe my most underrated console that I own. I also have the Game Boy Micro, which I love, and of course my favorite handheld, which is not a Switch, is the 3DS. And also DSi, which is the DS basically, but with an I at the end because of things. I started my life, <laughs> pretty much, with the Game Boy Advance handheld as well. And I also have, re in recent years, gotten PlayStation Portable. So I feel like I am very up to date when it comes to handheld systems because it's been my thing forever and there are no handheld systems that I feel like I missed out on. I don't know if I should do that. <laughs> so this arrived at my door yesterday. Oh, nice, nice one. Yeah. It's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. So this is also something that I agreed to receive, which I thought was cu cute. Woo. And it is a cool little gadget. So this can hook up to Bluetooth and it is a portable speaker, which looks like a mini computer. <laughs> even has clicky buttons. <laughs> oh my god. I have no idea what the features of this is, but I am sure it is a lot. So you can adjust the volume and you can connect it to Bluetooth. Let's do that. I like the screen. I like the quality of it. Actually really loud and good. I like it. I like it more than I thought I would. And it comes with a little, I don't know, fridge storage for it. So cute. It is fun, and if you want it, check it out down below. Will you be trying to pull Klee live on stream? I never live stream, but I will try to pull Klee, and that is a character in Genshin Impact. I have two videos up on my channel about that game. What are the best portable RPGs in your opinion? Um, pretty much everything that is Xenoblade series. A lot of good ones if we're going back in time to the 3DS. Fire Emblem on the 3DS, excellent games, all of them. Bravely Second, solid RPG on the 3DS. 
You also have the cozy series, which is Mario and Luigi. I have Paper Jam and Dream Team Brothers. I guess Fantasy Life and also... <coughs> I pulled out Fantasy Life. But yeah, Fantasy Life and Tales of the Abyss, if we're talking a bit retro. Can you believe that the 3DS is kind of retro? Other than that, if you're looking for something good for the Switch, look around on my entire channel. This one is from Finland. From Sofia in Finland. Thank you so much. Whoa. Okay, so the first thing we have is Berry Pearls Mansika. Jurgub med melk choklad. It is actually Swedish on it, and I understand Swedish. My god. It is good. Take my word for it. Strawberry dipped in chocolate. I'm giving this to Isherman because I don't like licorice. Moomin fruit candies. So this brand Fraser is Finnish. <laughs> it's finished. This looks actually really good. Salmiakki. That sounds also good. Oh, I like this. Cheese and chili peanuts. And the last one is chocolate. Maito sukla. Thank you so much, Sofia. Really appreciate that. Now I have a taste of Finland. I love it. Now this is the last package and we're gonna take another question as well. What is the first video game you ever played? Which is one of my favorite questions actually because... <laughs> can't find it right now but I have a newer released version of that game and I think it is the first game that I played because I don't know because I was so young I started playing games when I was in my diaper if you know what I mean and that was King's Quest 7 the princeless bride actually one thing I really want on eBay is the original box like the big PC box of that game I think I even saw Metal Jesus Rocks has that big box PC game in his collection. But you know, I'm not into collecting or anything. I really am not. But that one I want for my personal nostalgia reasons. And this one I think I know who it is from. I think it was Paula. Paula Buick. Paula, I love you. And it is another down under box. I have gotten one before from you and I loved it. That was the box that included Vegemite, if you guys remember. Have a look. Oh my god, what is it made of? Yeast! <laughs> so yeah, that was good times. You know, I made all my friends taste Vegemite. It was so epic. Hi Irene, thought I would send you another box of goodies. No Vegemite this time. <laughs> and a koala beer. So here we have a kangaroo. He's gonna sit there. Be nice to him. Shapes original barbecue. Good. I think everything is good. Good. Colorful candy centers. A lot of small candy things. Paw Paw Bomb. I've actually heard about Paw Paw Bomb. <laughs> yeah. It's a girl thing. I loved this last time. Caramella Koala. Wagon Wheels Original. I don't think I've seen that one before. Amazing, Paula. You are the best. What do you feel is harder for you in your videos? Talking mostly about Nintendo stuff or finding other kinds of gaming topics to discuss? I have a rule for my a set rule for myself and my channel. I will only talk about whatever I want to talk about. So that can be games that I'm currently playing. Whatever I feel like. And that can be pretty much anything and it has been a lot of Switch. But I'm also starting to branch a bit out and talk more about, you know, PC or PlayStation because it comes natural to me now. I'm trying not to force anything, if you know what I mean. Force a video, force myself to talk about a certain topic. I gotta, gotta keep it real. It is the sort of vibe I want to have going for me on my channel, but you can trust me. When you click on an Isha gaming video, you're getting me with my opinions. What quality of life changes do you want to see in JRPGs and RPGs going forward? Quality of life changes uh, that are really quality of life for me in RPGs or any game actually is fast traveling. Just the ability to travel to a place where you have been before. Fast traveling, something as simple as that actually. And also lists of keeping track of, um, you know, side quests, 
like they did in Scene of Blade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Just list everything, have everything nice and tidy. Like in Genshin, actually, you have a lot of lists, like to-do lists, and it feels so rewarding and fulfilling. Another thing I thought of is that whenever a game has multiplayer in it, I find it really convenient if there is a easy way to travel to the friend that you're playing with. Like, for example, in World of Warcraft, there was a travel to friend button, wasn't it? I haven't played World of Warcraft in forever, but travel to friend in, in a multiplayer game or in party is also very quality of life -y. Yeah, I'm pretty much good if the game has fast traveling and some lists. Some games don't have fast traveling and some games don't keep track of all your current quests in a list. That is kind of harder and rarer to come by, but there are games out there that are like that. Now that was actually all the questions. Of course I want to say thank you so much to the companies that sent me this thing and my subscribers that are sending me so many cute and sweet and wonderful things. So I'm gonna go now and edit some videos and maybe have a tiny bit of this candy as well. Now I want you to like my video because that helps my channel out and follow my Twitter and Instagram if you really feel like it. Now thank you so much for watching and I will see you later!